Imagine a life spent drifting through the vast ocean, only coming ashore once in a while, versus a life spent slowly traversing forests, deserts, and grasslands. Two animals, similar in appearance, but worlds apart in lifestyle, have evolved to thrive in such distinct environments. In today's episode of the story of animals, we'll explore the remarkable differences between two species that share a common ancestry, yet lead such contrasting lives. Join me as we compare the fascinating worlds of sea turtles and land turtles. The most obvious difference between sea turtles and land turtles lies in their habitats. As their name suggests, sea turtles spend nearly their entire lives in the ocean. These marine reptiles are perfectly adapted for life in the water. They can be found in warm and tropical seas around the world, migrating vast distances between feeding and nesting grounds. Land turtles, on the other hand, are strictly terrestrial. You might find them wandering through forests, grasslands, and even deserts, depending on the species. They have no need for the ocean and spend their entire lives on solid ground. While some species, like the box turtle, are semi-aquatic and can be found near ponds or marshes, they aren't suited for the long stretches of ocean that sea turtles effortlessly navigate. Sea turtles and land turtles are built very differently, each perfectly suited to their respective environments. Sea turtles have streamlined, hydrodynamic bodies. Their flippers are strong and flat, allowing them to glide gracefully through the water at impressive speeds. Their shells, while still protective, are flatter and more lightweight compared to their land-based cousins. This helps reduce drag as they swim, making them more efficient in the water. Land turtles, on the other hand, are slower and sturdier. Their limbs are thick, with webbed feet or claws that are designed for walking, climbing, and digging. Their shells are often dome-shaped, offering maximum protection from predators. While they're certainly not as fast or agile as sea turtles, they don't need to be. Their lifestyle revolves around slowly moving from place to place in search of food and shelter rather than navigating the ocean's currents. When it comes to food, sea turtles and land turtles also have very different diets. Sea turtles are primarily omnivores, with their diets depending on the species and where they live. For instance, the green sea turtle is mostly herbivorous, feasting on seagrasses and algae, while the loggerhead is a carnivore, preying on crabs, mollusks, and jellyfish. They often have sharp, strong jaws designed to crush through tough shells and coral. Land turtles, however, tend to be herbivores or omnivores, depending on the species. They forage for plants, fruits, and insects. Their slower pace and terrestrial environment mean they rely less on hunting and more on grazing. Their jaws are better suited for chewing leaves and other vegetation, making them more gentle eaters compared to the sometimes aggressive feeding habits of sea turtles. Turtles are known for their long lifespans, but there are some differences between sea and land turtles. Sea turtles can live for 50 to 100 years, depending on the species. They reach sexual maturity later in life, which is why their long lifespans are crucial for their survival. The vast distances they travel and the dangers they face in the ocean, from predators to human activity, mean that only a fraction of sea turtle hatchlings survive to adulthood. Land turtles particularly species like the tortoise, are famous for their extreme longevity. Some tortoises 
can live well over 100 years, with the record being held by a tortoise named Jonathan, who lived to be around 190 years old. Their more sheltered, slower-paced lifestyle contributes to their extended lifespan. With fewer natural predators and a more predictable environment, land turtles have evolved to be some of the longest living animals on the planet. Both sea turtles and land turtles lay eggs, but the way they go about it is quite different. Sea turtles must return to land to lay their eggs, even though they spend most of their lives in the ocean. They crawl onto sandy beaches, dig deep nests, and lay dozens or even hundreds of eggs at once. Afterward, they cover the nest with sand and return to the ocean, leaving the eggs to incubate under the sun. Sea turtle hatchlings face a perilous journey to the water, dodging predators and other dangers along the way. Land turtles, by contrast, usually lay fewer eggs, often burying them in shallow nests on solid ground. They don't face the same pressure to immediately return to the sea, so they're able to stay near the nesting site. Some species, like box turtles, even guard their nests for a short time after laying their eggs. Turtles have shells as a form of protection, a unique adaptation that has evolved over millions of years. The shell acts as a natural shield, safeguarding them from predators and environmental hazards. It's composed of two main parts, the top portion, called the carapace, and the bottom, known as the plasteron. Both sea turtles and land turtles use their shells differently based on their environments. For land turtles, the shell is often more dome-shaped, providing strong defense against predators and making them difficult to swallow or attack. Sea turtles, with their flatter streamlined shells, use them not just for protection, but also to reduce drag as they swim through the ocean. While the shell offers solid protection, it also comes with limitations such as reducing their agility or speed on land. But it's a vital feature that has allowed turtles to survive and thrive across various habitats. As we've seen, the differences between sea turtles and land turtles are as vast as the environments they call home. Whether they're gliding through the ocean's depths or slowly roaming across the land, each has adapted in incredible ways to survive. These unique reptiles remind us of nature's ability to shape life to fit even the most contrasting habitats. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the world of turtles. If you enjoyed learning about these amazing creatures, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more animal stories here on the Story of Animals. See you in the next video.